Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the titlage.com. And the guys, this, in this particular video, we would be going ahead and we would be creating our next class to manage our to-dos. So on a very brief note, what we would be doing uh, is we would be uh, writing a method to create the to-do. We would be writing a method to list them. We would be writing a method to edit them, to delete them, and to find how many of those are in total, okay? So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to create the next class called uh, class.manage-to-do.php, okay? And I'm going to, you know, copy some of the code from here, like the function construct, where we are building a connection with the database. So I'm going to copy that. And there would be a curly brace to end our class. Hey, guys. Uh, here I would be, you know, creating the next function or probably method. Uh, here I would be saying um, create to do okay uh, guys it will take a couple of parameters the very first one uh, let's say username like which particular user is creating a to do okay because we don't want to show uh, everyone's uh, you know to do to like to the entire world we just want to make them private uh, then very next thing would be the title okay uh, let's say a very short des uh, description of you know 100 or 140 words. So I want to say description. Uh, then I'm going to say uh, the due date, like when it's going to end. And I'm going to say it's current status. Okay. So these are going to be the five parameters as for now. And if there would be any more, we're going to add them later. So uh, I'm going to say dot this uh, link. Okay. Will be equal to my SQL. Uh, no, um, I'm actually doing it wrong. Okay, so let me say dollar query will be equals to dollar this link and run a query. Okay, uh, let's say uh, probably insert into uh, let's say to do, and uh, I'm gonna say the username. Then I'm going to say the title and a description, uh, the due date, and probably created on, like when they created it to calculate time and stuff. And the very next one, we're going to be the status. Okay, that's all. And you know what, guys, we can say here probably that are created on. Okay, we can do that like that. And then here I'm gonna say values. They're gonna be a quotient mark, a quotient mark, a quotient mark, quotient mark, quotient mark. I believe six fields we have. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, we have six fields. And I'm gonna end it here. Then I'm gonna say dollar values gonna be equals to an array. And that array gonna be the parameters. So copy everything from here and paste it here and then I'm going to say dollar query uh, execute dollar values and then here I'm going to say dollar counts going to be equals to dollar query and uh, then I'm going to say row count like how many rows have been affected from this particular query and if it's one that means we are able to create it successfully. And next thing, guys, though we are, you know, running a prepared statement, it needs to be prepared here. So that's my mistake. Uh, next uh, method gonna be to select all of them. So I'm gonna say function. Here I'm gonna say uh, list to do. Okay, guys, it's gonna take a couple of parameters. Very first one gonna be the username, like from which username you wanna list them. And the next one gonna be the status, okay? So here I'm gonna say dot query. Uh, gonna be equal to dollar this link. And again, if you remember, this particular this link is actually a reference to the connection we made uh, out here on the top in our construct function. So query. Uh, then I'm gonna say select all from to do bearer. Username is equal to dollar username and password 
gotta be equals to uh, oh I'm really really sorry I'm not sure where my mind is right now and status is equals to dollar status okay I believe that's fine then I'm gonna say dollar uh, counts I'm gonna be dollar query a row count okay then here I'm gonna say if dollar counts is greater than or equals to one that means if there is any you know true in our database then go ahead and say dollar result it's gonna be equals to dollar query uh, and fetch all okay and this result gonna be equals to an array and if there is not any then go ahead else uh, dollar result probably gonna be equal to dollar count okay and here I'm gonna say return dollar result and one more thing we need to do on the top they're gonna be return dollar count okay because every function do return something and we will have to let this function know what you want to return okay I believe you're done with that one as well the next one gonna be function to count to do okay uh, here I'm gonna say username and uh, uh, probably the status like which particular status we want to count for okay and here is a bloody pop-up okay uh, then I want to say dollar query <clears throat> I'm gonna be done with this length query and guys this time our select statement gonna be a bit different so I'm gonna say uh, select then I want to say count okay uh, all adds total to do okay so what we are saying is uh, I'm saying count everything and uh, put that number like the count you're getting into this particular total to do okay so count everything as total to do uh, where from very first from to do where username is equals to dollar username and status should be equals to dollar status okay um, so my column to in the statement and the very next thing I'm gonna say is uh, dollar query set fetch mode to PDO uh, fetch object because guys by default uh, you know query is uh, supposed to you know fetch the result like an array so we don't we cannot get an array uh, while we are you know getting numbers so we just want to get it like an object okay then I want to say dollar counts gonna be equals to uh, dollar query uh, probably fetch all okay I believe that's fine and here we can say return dollar counts so and our next method gonna be uh, function edit to do okay like if you want to edit it uh, they're gonna be the username and probably the ID like on which particular ID we want to do it and username just to you know just to have some more security so I'm gonna say dollar query it's gonna be equal to dollar this blank query and here I'm gonna say update uh, to do set and one more thing guys probably you know what uh, we just also need you know like which particular fields we want to update so whether we can get them like an array here yeah probably let them get them like an array so I'm gonna say dollar values and here I'm gonna say for each dollar values as dollar value uh, probably you know what like this dollar key dollar value okay uh, here I'm gonna say set dollar key uh, equals to dollar value uh, where username is equals to dollar username and password I'm really really sorry I'm not sure what's the problem with me why every time I say password what is dollar ID is equal to dollar ID 
Okay, so let me explain to you guys what exactly we are doing out here. Uh, we are getting all the fields uh, in an array. So probably, you know, uh, if, if I want to edit the title, uh, my array going to be something like, you know, array, uh, I want to say title. Uh, this particular thing going to be the key. And I'm going to say value would be, hey, okay. So this is the way uh, I'm going to update my title. So if I want to update the content, I'm going to say content. And I'm going to say awesome, okay. So this is the way actually I'm going to update it. So what I'm doing is I'm actually breaking this array out here on the top. And I'm saying dollar key going to be equals to the field name. That's title. And dollar value going to be equals to the content, okay. That's it, I believe, quite simple. And out here, <clears throat> and you know what, guys? Here I can say dollar x uh, is equal to zero. And every time you know what, we're gonna update it, we're gonna make it x to plus plus. Now let's say return dollar x. I believe that's all while editing it. And the very last one gonna be you know delete attribute. So I'm gonna say delete. And here I'm gonna say username and dollar ID. These are the only two stuff you need in order to delete anything. So I'm gonna say dollar query. Uh, I'm gonna be dollar this blank query. Uh, I'm gonna say delete from to do uh, where username is equal to dollar username. And ID is gonna be equal to ID. I'll limit it to one because we cannot, uh, you know, uh, edit more than one at a time. So, and here I'm gonna say counts. I'm gonna be uh, dollar query a row count, like how many rows have been affected due to this. And I'm gonna say return uh, counts. So I believe these are the only, you know, six methods or probably five uh, that we need in order to, you know, get functionality into our to-do maker. And guys, in the next video, we're going to go ahead and we're going to, you know, build the front end and we're going to test all these methods. If you want, you can do it from your side and don't leave any comments because I'm going to make a video very soon. I'm going to see you guys next time. Goodbye.